Welcome. In this Ignitia tutorial, we will discuss how Ignitia calculates scores for your students' assignments, units, and courses. Ignitia currently has two available rollups, the unit score rollup and the course score rollup. The scope of the unit rollup is all of the assignments in that unit. Similarly, for the course, its rollup contains all of the units in the course. A unit is made up of assignments. Ignitia has four assignment types, including lessons, projects, quizzes, and tests. Each assignment type has a weighting value that determines the assignment type's relevance to the overall course grade for the unit. Weighting values can be set at the school level, individual student level, and at the enrollment level. If you are an admin, you have access to your site's school settings tab. Clicking on the School Settings tab on the navigation bar allows you to access your school's default settings in Ignitia. To change your school's default weightings for assignments, choose the Grading, Pacing, and Assessment sub-tab. Scroll down towards the bottom of the page to locate the weightings percentages. From here, you are able to make changes to the weightings based on your school's educational paradigm. These settings will be the default for your school. Keep in mind that the four numbers will have to equal 100 when you are finished. When you have finished making your changes, click the Save button to save these. At a student level, you'll need to start by selecting the Students tab on the navigation bar. Depending on if you are creating a new student or editing a current student's settings, you'll need to select the corresponding button. Creating a new student, you will need to select the Create Student button. If you are editing a current student, you will locate the student that you wish to update. Next, select the Edit button from the Controls column. From there, you will be brought into the student's profile settings. Navigate down the page until you find the Personalized Weights selection. To change the weightings, you will need to first check the box next to Personalized Weights to make the fields active. From here, you are able to make changes to the weightings that will affect this student. Again, keep in mind that the four numbers have to equal 100 when you are finished. Last, click the Save button to save your changes. Finally, you are also able to change weightings on a per-course level. You can do this when you are enrolling a student into their courses or even after a student has been enrolled into their courses. We'll start by changing the weightings at enrollment. To do this, we'll start by navigating to the Gradebook tab from the navigation bar. Choose the Add Enrollment button. This will open up the enrollment window. After you have added the student and the course, select the blue gear icon at the top right hand side of the window. This will bring you into the enrollment settings. If you scroll towards the bottom of the page, you will see the Weights section. To activate these fields, you will need to select Yes. From here, you will be able to set the weightings that will affect the student at the course level, keeping in mind that the four numbers have to equal 100 when you are finished. When you are finished making your changes, click the Save Settings button to update these for the course. To change the weightings after a student has already been enrolled into a course, you'll need to select the Course Enrollment tab from the navigation bar. Next. Key in the student's name that you wish to edit and click on the search button. This will display the student's active courses. Locate the course from the list of courses and click on Edit in the Actions column. This will open the Enrollment Settings window for the course. Scroll down to find the Weights section. To activate these fields, again you will need to select Yes. From here, you will be able to set the weightings that will affect the student at the course level for any work going forward in this course. Remember again that the four numbers need to equal 100 when you are finished. When you have finished making your changes, click the Save Settings button to make the updates for the course. Next, let's discuss how assignment scores are calculated. Each assignment, no matter how many questions, is worth 100% overall, and each question carries an equal value to the assignment. 
The assignment in this example has four questions. Therefore, each question is worth 25%. So if you take 100, divide by 4, that equals 25%. Three of the four questions have been answered correctly, which are indicated here by a green tab color. And the question with the incorrect answer is indicated by the red tab color. So the assignment score is 3 times 25, or 75%. The student has received 75% on this assignment. Now let's look at an assignment that has eight questions, six that have been answered correctly, and two with partially correct answers, which are indicated by the yellow tab color. So for this assignment, each question is worth 12.5% of the overall percentage. So if you take 100, divide that by eight, that equals 12.5. The assignment is showing an overall score of 87.5% and the following examples are going to show you how this score was calculated. In this example, you see that six of the questions have correct answers, which is indicated by the green tab color, and it calculates to 6 times 12.5 equals 75%. If we take a deeper look at the answered questions that were partially correct, which are indicated by the yellow tab color, you'll see that question 7 was worth 3 points, but the student received 1 point, which equals 33.33%. This calculates to 12.5 times 33.33 equals 4.16625. Here's another example. Question eight was also worth three points, but the student received two points this time. This equals 66.67%, which calculates to 12.5 times 66.67 equals 8.33%. So the overall grade for this assignment is the sum of its question values, which in this case are 75%, 8.33% and 4.16625%, which equals 87.49625%. The assignment grade has been rounded up to 87.5%. This may be a good time to remind you that if a teacher decides to skip a question in a graded assignment, Ignitia automatically recalculates the assignment score because the skip question no longer counts toward the assignment total. Now that we know how to calculate an assignment score, let's calculate the weighted grade for a unit. To calculate the weighted grade for each assignment type, we'll refer back to the weights shown earlier in the tutorial. The default values are a lesson weight is 25%, project weight 25%, quiz weight 25%, and the test weight, which is also 25%. In step one, Ignitia looks at the number of assignments and scores for each type for the unit. In this example, there were 10 lessons with scores of 96, 87, 32, 83, and so forth. There are three quizzes with scores of 99, 100, and 62. There were four projects with scores of 72, 85, 97, and 98, and there was one test with a score of 93. In step two, Ignitia is going to calculate the average for each assignment type and multiply that average by the assignment type weight to get a unit score by type. In this example, there were 10 lessons with their scores earned shown here. You can see that Ignitia added the scores and then divided the 797 by 10 because there were 10 assignments within this type. Ignitia then took the weighting percentage, which was 25%, and multiplied that by 79.7 .7 to equal 19.925. It did the same operations for the other assignment types to figure out the unit score by type. Step three is to add the unit grades for each assignment type to calculate the weighted grade for the unit. The weighted score for this unit is 87.1125, which is then rounded to 87.11. Therefore, the student received 87.11% for this unit. Last, let's discuss how course grades are calculated. 
To calculate the course score roll-up, you need to look at the unit scores and the number of units in the course. Let's take a simple example of a course with 10 units. Once you have each unit score, add them up and divide them by the number of units. The sum for the units in this course is 836. If we divide by the number of units, which is 10, we get 83.6%. The overall course score is 83.6%. If you have further questions or would like more information, please contact Technical Support at 800-735-4193 and select option 1. Thank you for viewing this Ignitia tutorial.